Today I want to talk about table calculations and how they can be used in visualizations. Just like regular dimensions and measures, table calculations are automatically displayed in visualizations, like the percent of previous week's sales that we have here in orange. But table calculations can also allow us to decide which rows of data we want to display in a visualization. In this example, we're looking at weekly sales for an e-commerce store, and we've already created a calculation to show the percent of the previous week's sales. Now I only want to show the weeks that have outperformed the prior week. I'm going to click on the Calculations button to pop open the Table Calculations modal. Since I already have a calculation existing, I'll select to add a new Table Calculation, and I'll call this Exceeds Previous Week's Sales. This is going to be a Boolean that evaluates to either yes or no, depending on if the percent of previous week's sales is over or under 100%. I'll save that calculation, and now we can quickly see which weeks under or overperformed. And I can use that to filter so that I can show only the weeks that exceed the previous week's sales. This can also be useful for hiding the first or last row from a visualization since many types of analyses create bad rows at the beginning or end of a table. And there you have it. Now you can use table calculations to control which rows are displayed in a visualization.